Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with a follow-up video on the Broyhill brand a big and tall office chair. Of course you've seen us do the unboxing of this as well as the assembly uh, over uh, two years ago now. Uh, this here chair has seen a lot of use. Um, has uh, well been a good office chair as well as um, stood up you know reasonably well uh, when you consider how many hours that uh, has been spent in this chair especially in well the last six months first of all uh, when I first seen the chair I was a little bit leery because well based on the online reviews that I read well I've come to uh, realize that sometimes online reviews uh, may or may not be a hundred percent accurate or truthful my experiences with this chair uh, differed from the experiences of other uh, online reviewers now of course yes uh, there is some condition issues uh, some of them do result directly from uh, manufacturing processes others uh, you know result from the fact that well it was being used uh, on a daily basis sometimes for multiple hours at a time pretty much um, one of the first things I did notice that uh, it did start to happen was uh, right there in the seat portion of the chair you notice there is uh, quite a substantial uh, you know tearing or you know a hole basically well it started uh, way back kinda like this where the stitching started to pull away now of course um, I knew then that uh, you know the end to this chair was close at hand however of course I still uh, you know kept on using it. I could have put a covering on it if I cared about the chair but I used it and well you know when you use something that is weak it tends to rip. Uh, there is a substantial um, you know, wear along both of the arms. The uh, left arm obviously uh, doesn't uh, get nearly as much wear as the right arm um, on my chairs anyways where the right one uh, is pretty much wore uh, right flat all the stuffing is out of it as well as you know it's basically uh, wore all the way around of course as well I'm not sure if this camera can pick it up but there almost looks like there was solvent um, blisters or popping on the material I'm not a hundred percent sure what uh, causes that um, if it's just uh, you know moisture or oils from um, you know the skin or clothing or or whatever that causes um, those kind of uh, problems but they didn't um, peel or anything in the lifetime of the chair but uh, they might cause an issue if this was uh, used for you know longer periods of time uh, the basic mechanics of the chair uh, survived quite well uh, toward the end the shock uh, started to lose pressure where it would uh, basically collapse over a period of time and then you'd have to pull the lever and allow it to pop back up and then it would basically you know compress back down again and uh, just recently here um, I noticed the uh, fifth wheel at the back has now broke away so you know that would have been the death sentence uh, itself in basically any office chair they do make replacement wheels but sometimes a little difficult to match them up so you do end up having to replace all the wheels at the same time now of course one of the biggest things they said uh, would happen in the online reviews is the arms um, you know would break uh, it did very very well uh, these breaking uh, in the arms were just um, happened here in just the last few weeks uh, one of the days I was just leaning back and of course you know when you lay back all your force is on the back of the chair the arms just snapped and both of them broke within just a matter of days of each other uh, you can tell by the padding on the chair that it did uh, uh, has took a pretty good beating 
there's no real big uh, rips or tears around the backs or the sides of the chair. You know, there's no uh, manufacturing flaws that showed up in my chair uh, in, you know, these areas. But, of course, you know, your experience might be different, uh, you know, in that case. On a scale of 1 to 10, um, based on, you know, the price of the chair, the quality of the chair, and how well, you know, the chair did stand up. You know, I definitely do give this thing a 9, 9.5 when you consider, you know, the amount of use that I gave this here chair, as well as, you know, the price that was paid and really who maintains or takes care of their office chair. They just kind of sit in it and uh, when it breaks, it breaks, right? I would buy another brand of uh, Broyhill brand office chair um, based on the performance of this one here. Uh, however, of course, you guys have already seen the unboxing video of the one that, uh, well, you know, I got to replace it. So I still uh, maintain to this day that this was uh, the comfortable office chair, even more comfortable than the one that I bought to replace it with. So hopefully the one that, um, the new chair that I have will last just as long as this one. If not, then, well, I'll be back shopping for another one of these here chairs. But pretty much, guys, this is here has been a two-year-old follow-up review of the Broyhill brand big and tall office chair. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.